90.3 KEXP Seattle, and I'm John Richards down the hall uh, from uh, the studio in another studio, our live studio, and very excited about this band who are here today to play live. It's the Step Kids on 90.3 KEXP Seattle.
90.3 KEXP Seattle. Step Kids live in studio. And one of the uh, one of the many things I like about the record are the intros and outros to these songs. I love it. This goes on for a while. I'm not sure where the song's going to go. Boom. We're not and sure where the song's going to go. I kind of felt that way in a good way. And uh, in studio, you can see why what's going on as well. And it's a pleasure to watch you guys play. And man, you playing guitar is a a fun thing to see is wow, yeah so when did you start really first when you first pick up a guitar and start playing um i when i moved to america from moldavia uh, which is the old ussr i um yeah i i was in love with the beatles so i started playing guitar yeah. and uh, i loved basketball but when i was nine years old and i played a talent show and you know all the girls finally gave me some attention i was like oh no nah, this is this is where it's at <laughs> not basketball yeah 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 <laughs> you got the height almost <laughs> Yeah, I like basketball too, but at some point somebody told me, "Dude, yeah. you're not tall enough. It's not going to happen." And when did you guys get together? I mean, you guys are you've been touring musicians, you've been playing with a ton of big names and and out on the road. Is that where you guys hooked up or No, nah, I met Dan actually. Um, let me see. I was 16, Dan was 18. We wow. played uh in New Haven. We started by playing jazz gigs. We I met him. I called him as a uh, 
to come and play bass on one of my jazz gigs. And the first song we ever played was, um, I just met him, and we're like, all right, cool. First song we ever played was Olio by Sonny Rollins. It was like at 320 beats per minute. It's like this little hotshot 16-year-old guitarist was like, hey, how you doing? One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so I counted off back then. Yeah. So you knew. And when is the third member? Uh, oh okay. yeah. Well, I met Jeff in uh, actually it was like right after college, and uh, and we started doing a lot of work in the studio. And when he got off tour, uh, from when he was like on and off tour with Alicia, he'd come back and we'd make music. And uh, then finally, when things wound down, uh, he came back. We started a studio together. Yeah. And then introduced me to Dan, and that's when we the three of us made like one track. And I mean, from that point on, we just kind of really were attracted to doing stuff in the studio together well you mentioned uh, alicia keys who you played with and mm -hmm. and and some of the other artists i've seen you play with a lot different than what you're doing yeah that's what that's what that's what i thought too um when we go to like england and stuff like that um or other places people people actually it's not that different maybe yeah. for other people as it is for for us they're like oh yeah of course soul music you know lauren hill and then like yeah, you guys are soul music yeah it's the same stuff right <laughs> so so i think I, it's very different personally yeah. but I, I, other people don't when I got the record, I said, God, where are these guys from? I think, where are they from? Where down south they from? Where are they? I was like, Connecticut. Hmm. Yeah, not familiar <laughs> with the soul and funk scene of yeah. Connecticut. Oh, yeah. It's actually an gospel. amazing gospel Is scene it? In gospel, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, it's one of the world's best, actually. It's funny because when I used to go to L.A. for some session work, people would be like, you know, uh, yeah, you, oh, you're from Connecticut. You must know Jonathan DeBose, who's from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, and I knew him since I was a kid, but I didn't realize until later on that he was the number one most recorded gospel guitar player of uh, all time. Oh, insane. Like, yeah. Talented. Jeez. Mm -hmm. And this other guy, Doobie Powell, we love. We yeah. got to give him a shout out. He's a real prolific, uh, real creative guy. So you got a new full length. It's a perfect home for it, too. Stone Throw's putting it out. Uh, it's not out yet, right? It's out no, into the three month. Three weeks. Yeah. And you're touring. You played last night mm -hmm. up in Canada. Any trouble crossing the border down here? At mm -hmm. what time did you cross the border about? About one thirty, one o'clock. One thirty, yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about one. .30. And you guys have a very busy schedule, and you're playing with a band I love, the Horrors, uh, and I love the pairing. Uh, and you got a lot of shows coming up with them, correct? Definitely, yep. definitely. Including, we want to say tonight, and I, I can't recommend the show enough at Numos. And tomorrow, you're going to be down at Portland Music Fest Northwest. We start our live broadcast actually from Doug Fur in about an hour. And uh, the horrors are going to be there tomorrow, as a matter of fact, playing, uh, I think, at 1030 in the morning. So, uh, But see them tonight. They're going to be playing in support of the new record coming out later this month, Horrors on the Bill as well. you got two more songs that are going to be from the record. Mm -hmm. there's, yes, I'd like to say, too, there's no, there's no less than two Star Wars-themed T-shirts in the room. There could be a third, but yours Actually, is too faded. I, I brought one with me, but I'm not wearing it. <laughs> That's how really you ought to know. Yeah, it didn't coordinate. It didn't coordinate? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Unintentional, but yeah. <laughs> It made me smile. All right, Steph Kibbs are here, and they're going to play two more from the new record here on KEXP. Two, three. <laughs>
90.3 KEXP. How are your fingers not bleeding? There should be blood spewing <laughs> from the bass. <laughs> Man, you're moving fast. That was beautiful. It's like 12 songs in one. It was like, you know, more for your money. That was fantastic. Good job, guys. I love the record. Try to consolidate. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's good to get that all in there. And uh, fantastic in studio. Thanks for coming in. Do Thank appreciate you so much that. For having us. For coming in so early, too. And they're going to be playing tonight at Numo's. I highly, highly recommend that show down at Dante's in Portland tomorrow night, correct? And then down the coast, hitting San Francisco. That should be great. Uh, and then through California and all over the, all over the country. I hope you have fun. It Thank sounds, you so it sounds like it will be. And uh, the new record is out on September 27th, one of my favorites so far this year, so check that out as well. This is 90.3 KEXP, Seattle.